If you're joining the stream and you're interested in the SCEV thing that you saw about making money, we actually finished it really, really quick. Wind back, take a look, or the video that we made will actually be live on YouTube in the morning uh, because I see no need in waiting on that one. It's good information that a lot of people could benefit from, so we're going to get it out there. Thank you to the subscriber who requested it. You know who you are. I'm not going to put you on blast. Plenty of people will have the opportunity to see it, but thank you. It was a great idea, and I'm glad you asked for it. Um, so anyway, we got a lot of um, explosions going on right now, um, and, you know, I don't necessarily like that. This scope is just, oh, so egregious. We're going to be looking for a lot of hip fire kills, I feel like, today, guys, which means we need to get close quarters. Now, if we are at range, it can be okay, but, you know, it's an RPDN, man. It's not a sniper rifle, you know? It's not like it's going to be a smooth experience when you're trying to cut people down at range. Um, is this the way we can go? It's kind of dark, man. I'm not sure. Yeah, we can make it this way. All right, cool. So we're going to head over to the resort and get this thing started. If you're joining the stream, thank you. If you're watching the video, thank you. Sit tight. Oh, right. You know, should we check Sanitar? You know, I mean, we could. If he is over here, right? What would that look like? kill Sanitar or get killed by Sanitar, one of the two, that's exactly what it would look like if he's over here, duh, those are the only two possible options. I love when I convince myself that I'm ridiculous. I hear some movement. Oh, yep, we've got someone over there. It's either a PMC or potentially, potentially a bigger problem than that. We might have stepped into something here, guys. So this is what the grenades are for. I'm tossing them because I feel like we have someone over there. I don't know where they are yet. I was trying to get either some audio cues or a cheeky kill with a grenade that could pay dividends sometimes on bosses if they're if they're lumped up. You can uh, do yourself some favors by chucking some nades. One force them to reposition so that you can take advantage, but two, um, if you happen to catch one with it, then your life just gets that much easier. You know what I mean? We're going to creep here, though, because I don't know where these guys are, but there's definitely someone here. We just don't know what someone it is. If it's Sanitar, uh, Lightkeeper wants us to kill a bunch of bosses 15 times, and he happens to be one of them, so I feel obligated to at least take a peek, right? I mean, we heard someone, you know? And if it is the someone we're looking for, then I'm sorry, but that someone's just got to die. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Lightkeeper said so, you know? And we're going to do what Lightkeeper says, even though we got the spear. I still long-term want to finish that whole quest line. Did you go up here? Oh, God, they did. Yep. Okay, so uh, business is about to pick up. Let's close this door. And we are going to just... Uh, Boy, the RPDN does have its strong suits, right? We are, uh, we got to, uh, reload here, and, uh, hopefully <laughs> I can tuck behind this door. Jesus. Oh, buddy, we're gonna jump back. I'm stuck on something back here. Well, that was, uh, interesting. Where did you go, my dude? I know you're there. We're gonna close the door, actually. Uh, because I don't know that he'll push a grenade through here, and we're just going to heal up and repack real quick. Shh, we can't repack. Damn it, where'd the magazine go? Oh, sweet, that's right there. Well, that's fortunate. Um, so we ran into some early action, actually. I don't know if these count. Do these count as kills? Did we just... Oh, here we go. Hello there. Oh, wow. Wow, <laughs> let's go, dude. Let's go. What do you got for me? One, two, three, four, a four piece? How many of y'all were in here? What is going on? Is this like we're y'all were trying to get rich up in this place, weren't you? We're gonna have to loot all of this because reasons, right? I'm all about the money. Man, this is huge. Let's just close the door. We might not even need to go to the resort. 
they keep feeding me PMC kills like this. Like, we could be done quick. I can't wait to take the scope off this gun and use it um, the way I would prefer, like, iron sight this shit. Because currently, man, with the scope on there, I don't feel comfortable with it unless I'm uh, hip firing. And that's obviously not ideal for some situations. So having the ability to go back and forth would be nice. Let's get some, uh, some reloading done here. Um, and we'll do it while we can as we're uh, looting up our friends. Because, you know, they uh, they probably have some nice juicy guns and stuff we could use. And since they decided to attack us, you know, we kind of earned the right to take everything they have. So let's get about doing that real quick. And, uh, yeah, about to get loaded. Oh, he's got a baggerly. Actually, I love those. So we could actually yoink that. Absolutely. Um, Alright, and then we've got our AFAC right there. And then here we go, right? Bam. So while we're loading up that, we'll check this baggerly. What kind of plates do you got, my guy? Tier 5s, actually. I feel like those are in better condition than the ones we have. 46 out of 50, 27 out of 34. They are, but can I change these right now? Not without taking this off. Mm. You know what we could do, actually, is, uh, well, I mean, we could just swap it over, right? We could insurance fraud. That's a thing we could do. Why wouldn't we just do that? Duh. Well, because it's kind of beat up, honestly. Let's not do that. I'm not even going to worry about it. It's just tier 5 plates. If it was tier 6, it'd be worth the consideration. But at this point for us, it's probably just a waste of time, honestly. And wait. Well, we would drop the other plates. But yeah, anyway, we're not going to worry about it. We've already worried too much. Let's take this ammo, drop this gun, and grab that one. Oh. Take that, and yeah, this guy might actually have some juice. We'll see. These guys were obviously in here because it's a high-value loot area because of Sanitar's uh, proximity spawn, more than likely. Um, around bosses, there tends to be... That's where they put higher-quality loot. At least that's been what I've seen in my time with Tarkov. Ooh, we got 60-round mags. Do you have a 60-rounder in here? You do. Okay. Now, we're not going to use that right away, but that's certainly going to be what our backup weapon is. So let's move these up here. What is our ammo here? Oh, PS. Oh, wait. That's 7.62, isn't it? We need to take a look at this. Is this better than what we're using? Hmm. About the same. 7.62 by 3.9. Whatever. We don't need that. Let's go ahead and get this. All right. That's running the same. Yeah, no sense in us dragging all this stuff with us. Um... And I do think the PMC kills are just on shoreline, so we started off needing, what was it, like six or seven? I'm not sure. But uh, let's check real quick, because more than likely we got credit for these guys, and that's huge. Oh, PS is what we're using, dummy. You guys are probably, probably call me dummy more often than, <laughs> than I probably would want to know about, I'm sure. But either way, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> All right, um, that's not a 60-rounder. Stick my, what? Stick man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that said something else for a second. I just, uh, I have to admit, I was a little curious. Let's see what he's got for us. Go ahead and replace all of the nades we spent, but, um, man, that couldn't have worked out better for us, right? These guys, on the other hand, they are headed home in a body bag. Do they even do body bags for AI PMCs? Probably not. We don't do body bags for real player PMCs, so probably not. They're probably not even getting a body bag, guys. And that's just, that's sad. We have a bunch of rounds, so we could cause plenty of trouble with that. Honestly, um, you guys know me. Like, if we're here to do a task um, and we're not done with it, I see no reason to leave. We got some decent loot there, but not really interested in that. I do want to finish this quest, though, and we need three more PMCs. Obviously, we've killed the ones we've encountered here, so the best place for us to find more is going to be the resort, so we're probably still going to head that way. Uh, we'll have to watch our weight, though, so we may not take everything. Um, we will go ahead and grab this, though, and disassemble it, because there are some good parts on that gun that, even if we're not going to use, could be valuable for us. So we'll just grab those. Sometimes when you do that, it'll put the parts in the uh, inventory of the corpse you're looting. Just make sure you don't lose 
what could be juicy loot, so be on the lookout for that. We'll take that flashlight and add it to that gun. That's the same scope, so nothing to worry about there. Grab the nades, and we are good to go. So let's loot up in this place, because there are some safes, and did see a computer, so there may be some value there. Head upstairs and see what we can get. I probably should heal my chest. I don't know which one took a chunk out of us, but... Um, yeah, early on, that's right. We did get uh, we did get kind of pushed, but yeah, um, there's a safe here that we can check. So hopefully we'll get some good value out of some of this. And then there should be maybe a gun in there, Mosin. Mm, nope. That rain or someone moving around. Thought I heard something. Probably not, right? All right, probably nothing. Uh, what else we got? There's a jacket over here from the looks of things. Can we loot you? No. You don't want to be looted. Fine. The jacket does not want our attention. We'll turn our attention elsewhere then. The computer seems to like us. Nope. He doesn't. Okay, cool. You know what? We didn't like you either. I took one look at you and was like, that's probably the jerkiest computer I'll ever meet. And you did not disappoint. Um, Alright, so... I always look at like tables like that, potential intelligence spawns, a lot of times they'll put intelligence where you would find quote unquote documents, but that's about the extent of this here. Oh wait, no, there was another safe. I was like, didn't we see another safe? We did. Come on, Bitcoin. What do we got here? Anything good? Oh, we got some money, some ruples, some vibin' shoes. That's going to be great. Um, actually pretty excited about the, uh, the uh, marked key video. I think... Um, it was a great idea, and hopefully when we put that up, it will uh, it'll be something that people will find some use in. We shall see. Ultimately, though, uh, the person who needs it, there you go. There's your answer to that question. And uh, I appreciate you asking. And it will also give us a place to refer new folks to. For anyone who has that question, um, you know, we can just direct them right to that video. Link it in the chat, right? Be pretty cool. So yeah, be on the lookout for that one, actually. I think that turned out really well. Super excited to post that one. So it will be coming out. It may be even immediately after we finish the stream, actually. Um, so yeah, maybe we do that. Anyway, um, we had those guys there. Now, there could... I don't know, Sanitar wouldn't be over here with that many PMCs close by, but... Uh, we're going to check just the same because we could loot this place. We've got the key, but honestly, um, I think we keep looking for PMCs, try to get the three we need at the resort, and then uh, maybe think about pushing out after that because we've got 32 minutes, and I'd like to spend the majority of that actually around a place that can produce some PMCs. As much as I love using this gun, I want to get the scope off of it so we can actually have some fun. As you noticed when, uh, if you're in the stream or if you're watching any of the videos, we have a ton of LMGs that I really do want to try to see if we can put together some usable uh, configurations that uh, don't have super black scopes that take 8 seconds to, de to ADS. It's less than 8 seconds, but that's what it feels like. And you guys know that's way too long. You can't ADS for 8 seconds. That's just uh, ridiculous, right? Nobody does that. Who ADSs for 8 seconds? Right? It's not just me, right? Anyway, we'll take the uh, left side up the mountain here and uh, head on up to the resort and see what kind of chaos we can create. Now, typically, I wouldn't just go in right out the front gate, but uh, we are going to go in the front gate tonight because if Sanitar is up, we'll try to engage him and be safe about it because uh, we do have a scope and we got a bunch of grenades that we got from those guys, so that's going to work in our favor. Uh, but if there are some PMCs here, we'll be able to engage them pretty much immediately. And as you saw, we only need three more, so that's what we're going to be pushing towards. As we go up, good idea to just peek this area slowly because they can be pretty much anywhere, just like PvP. Like, this is not a push you would make without looking around and being aware of your surroundings. 
regardless of what version of the game you're playing. <laughs> Just a heads up on that. This is probably the least safest place on this map. Aside from being close enough to get spotted by old bird eye on the radio tower over there. Um, they are still a high spawn rate, the goons are, on PvE, and I don't know from a coding standpoint if that's going to change anytime soon. Uh, so I think, for the moment, either get adept at those encounters with the goons or learn the spawn points and try to avoid them if you're not looking for goon spam in your life because, you know, if you're not really looking for them, they're not exactly the best guests, I'll say. Uh, so we heard some, oh, downed another, I feel like that's probably a PMC, right? He was running, I wonder if he's got some friends, boy, where were you going, dude? Um, are you a PMC? I mean, I'm just assuming you are, let's check, yep, two more. This is Black Bean? Is that a thing? Is that your name? Is that what your name is? <laughs> really, Black Bean? What do you got? What can you give us, my guy? What can you give us? Some more explosive devices? Sure. Don't mind if I do. We're going to open up as... Oh, shit. Hip fire, come on. <laughs> right, this is why I hate this scope. Oh shit, those guys, no, not direct hit. Yeah, direct hit for you. Oh fuck. Let's, uh, we need to reposition here and fix these bleeds, otherwise, those last two we need may be the last two we see this raid. Because we still need to reload as well, actually. If we can get this reload off, stop this other bleed before we get pushed, I feel like we'll be okay, but they may well push, they may not. I don't know, we need to stop this bleed, I just need to shut up and pay attention. Let's get the stem going, and here they are. Right on time. Let's force the issue. Are you coming from this side? Oh. Oh, you know what? I bet I know where they are. I bet they're not even up here. I bet they're down there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's f fix our arm. These guys aren't going to push up. Let's take advantage of the opportunity to heal ourselves. And we probably should pick up our other... Uh, Drum mag here. Waste not, want not. We got our last two PMCs downstairs. Uh, due to this ridiculous scope, they took a couple chunks out of us. Um, but that's fine. It's just fine. We'll be down to see them momentarily. Let's get our arm put back on. Reposition our grenades. Once we're done with surgery, we'll head downstairs. Maybe chuck another grenade down before we do. I'm not sure. We'll see. And then we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. Do we still have some stem left to heal that arm? Probably not. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm using the Grizzly. I really should be using these Apex. But we'll sell them if we don't use them. It'll be alright. So, we have a full... Yeah. Okay. So we're full there. Wrong ammo type. All right, of course. Um, let's get some extra ammo in this mag just in case something goes south with this swing. I'm pretty sure I know exactly where they are, but just want to make sure that we're able to react if we need to. Because I'm not sure I want to ADS these guys unless we come down the staircase just the right way. Because when you're going downstairs and cutting around corners, using a fixed 3x magnification scope in close quarters combat with an LMG is not something I would recommend. Let's peek down here and see what we can see though. If these guys are down here, we can uh, 
And yes, they are. And that was not our PMCs, though. That's a scav. I wonder, did... Oh, you know what? What I didn't consider before chucking that grenade down. We do need to kill them with this gun, I believe. So, yeah. Or maybe not. We killed one with a grenade. We had to. We needed two more. Or he bled out because we shot him, maybe. I don't know. Either way. They were over here, yeah? So where's our boy? I know you're here, brother. Come on out and play. We need one more. And, uh, yeah, we were over by Sanitar's room, yeah? We were unlocking the door. Then they showed up out of nowhere. So we didn't even get to loot that yet. There's one of the guys. Oh, right there. Yeah, we did. We killed him. Um. Now, wait a second. There's... Wait a sec. Who are you? Yeah, we did. We killed the Punisher here. Where's your friend? You had someone with you. Where did he go? Did he just leave you after you died? That's not the kind of friend I would want. Just saying, Punisher, you need to pick your friends better. Right? He just left you dead on the floor. And <laughs> got out the dodge. He's like, not even retribution, right? I'm not even going to try to to get you back. Unless he and the scab were just standing next to each other. And I thought it was two PMCs. I don't know, but... That's pretty funny. Like, uh, he came in thinking he had some backup, right? <laughs> but, do you ever really know if you if you got the backup, right? Do you ever really know? Let's disassemble what we can here on this, actually. It's not going to let me. Can I disassemble something? No? Okay, fine. I guess we have to search one of these containers so that there's some place for the parts to go. I don't know why I'm worried about it. We're not here for loot. We're just here to get another PMC. That's it, right? really all we need. So let's do that then, shall we? Where did your partner go? <laughs> it's like that, was it, uh, was that movie, Robocop? Like, Where's your partner? You're just shooting him every time. Yeah. Um, anyway, what's in Sanitar's room? Did we get anything good in here? Uh, blood set? No, thank you. Cat? Not really interested. What's in the computer? CPU and RAM, yep, good stuff, but not exactly what we're here for. Oh, what is triggering our awareness here? There's something. Uh, what is it? Oh, the blood set. Okay, well, that's enough of that room. Let's see if we can find old buddy. Because if we can, we won't have to come back to shoreline. So, even if we risk an L here, it's better that we push a fight and try to get this thing done. Because the longer you wait in raid looking for these guys, the the lower your chances. They just uh, they move on. See they yeah they were in here looting. Um. Yeah. <laughs> there's some there's some looty looty guys these days, man. And shiesty. They're very ratty these days, these AI. Right, let's head up. Maybe he went upstairs, I doubt it, but... Could go up top, but we do risk bird eye um, sometimes up there, and then once that happens, we all know they will pursue us until the end of time. The humans will. And so... Given that that's not what we're looking for, I think we just skip that scenario, shall we? Well, maybe. Maybe we peek it. You know? I mean, it would help us find PMCs. If there, if there are any. Definitely hear from them. I heard someone. Oh, I see one. This is our, this is our guy. Yep, this is our guy. Yep, enjoy that. Got him. Let's go. Quest done. 
And the very first thing I am going to do, perhaps the best thing I've done all night. You ready? It's about to happen. Oh boy, you already know. Get this piece of crap off my gun. Thank you. Oh goodness. Oh, now we can. Oh, so, so good. Where is this? Where is this piece of crap? Get out of here. And when you come back on insurance, I'm just going to drop you. So don't even bother. Outstanding. We got our quest done. Let's head to extract and figure out what to do next. If you're here in stream, thank you for being here. If you're watching from home, thank you for from being here. I guess you'd be watching the stream from home too. Either way, thank you all. You know, I'm ridiculousness. You know by now, I'm just ridiculous. 24-7, right? Maybe that's what I should call the channel. <laughs> ridiculousness. Um, by yours truly. Let's uh, reload though. And we'll repack before we go. I don't know that we're going to run into any trouble, but might as well take the opportunity um, and give us a sec to... Uh, collect ourselves decent loot actually we came through uh quite quite fat with what it is we were doing i could have grabbed some rigs and maybe got some more out but i also don't want to be you know taking 10 years to get to where we're going uh either gotta be careful dropping these mags here i actually had one drop through the floor the other day um so that can happen too i am interested to see though what is behind test drive for i love uh the quest where they give you like specific guns to run it is a little more challenging but it also it introduces you to the different weapons and for someone like me who year in i'm still trying to learn it's a great way to get you out of your comfort zone and force you to do things you might not have thought of right so we got some more friends here no man see we're gonna open the door right we're gonna you're gonna open the door no you're you're gonna open the door okay that's fine one of us was opening the door homie like <laughs> it was gonna happen bro um well it looks like we got some more friends who wanted to join the party oh he's got a gazelle that's tier five plates but still it's a gazelle so let's drop what we don't need and grab that because that's juice um um drop I, you know yeah drop that and then, yeah, that's about probably all we're going to need from that dude. Alright, what else do we got here? Grenades. Don't mind if we do. You got anything in your rig there, dude? Nope, got an AFAC. Okay, sure. What about your friend here? Where was this? Where, where did we... I don't even remember where we killed these guys. Alright, over there. Yeah. You know, uh, we should probably get out of here before more of these guys show up. Jeez. How many PMCs is this? I don't even know. Um, I know if uh, if I didn't already have the 7 PMC achievement, we probably would have gotten it there for sure. I am going to grab those nades because it's not like we can reload anyway, right? Pretty sure we got enough in that thing to, um, to be able to do that. And I think the mistake I made, so I'll just share it with you guys when I dropped that mag, was I... Um, I dropped it around a body so it very well could have meshed within that uh, so if you're in this position and you don't have room to reload just you know unload to there right just move away from the body you're looting before you drop it is what I meant to say because if you don't there's a good chance that that mag will get mixed up in the mesh and you may lose it it's not a crazy expense but it's just kind of annoying so Heads up on that. Don't drop it in the body that you're looting. It uh, it can cause you grief. And we're all about not letting you guys get grief, right? All right, so this is ready. We're going to pick that back up, and then we're going to get our other mag off the floor, and we need to get the extract so we can turn in this mission. All right, we got that there. And we're going over here. And we're just going to head out. So from here... Um, we have two full drums with a bunch of rounds ready to spray and fortunately a clean iron sight which I much prefer over that crazy scope because you can fire while ADSing if you get into a, a tight spot but with a scope like that man it just uh, it really does make it challenging to respond quickly so 
hip fire is your best option, but uh, 762 LMG isn't exactly stable with hip fire at range. Up close, incredible. Mid range, pretty good, but at range beyond that, it's a uh, it can be pretty challenging. So we we're fat right now. Let's uh let's crawl. <laughs> Let's let's go prone and get some stamina back, cause jeez, we got a bunch of stuff. And the good news is we spent a lot of time on the stream earlier today, getting some room made up so that we'll actually have a place to depot without slowing the train down, and then we can sell a bunch of stuff later. Um, recently, we've just been <laughs> running into too many inventory Tetris issues where we just had to uh, to slow things down too much. So we don't want that. We're going to head to Extract here, and then we'll figure it out. Test Drive 4 complete. Pretty cool, actually. Test Drive 3, I believe, was way more annoying than Test Drive 4 because you had to do it on Lighthouse. And finding PMCs, when we were going through that quest line, we, uh, we had some struggles there. We just ran into a ton on this map very, very quickly when we got into Raid. But we had four in the cottage there, and then another... How many? Four or five in the resort. Um, but yeah, when we were doing this on the on the AK um, on Lighthouse, we were lucky to find two PMCs to run. So it did take us quite a bit more raids than I was hoping for. But we got it done either way. So I'm interested to see if there's anything behind this one. I mean, at this point, we have Kappa. We have you know Lightkeeper pretty much set on 15 boss kills. So that's like a long-term thing. But... Um, we're going to work on knocking down all the other quests we can while building our money and increasing that overall stash value. And that's kind of where we're at on this account. So um, we have some, some big plans in the future for uh, PvE content. So um, I enjoy running on this account, though, so we'll be using it uh, quite a bit. And when we do, we'll still keep it Road to Lighthouse. And uh, if we do play another PvE playthrough, certainly it will be... A fresh start, maybe some rules attached to it. Really don't know, haven't decided yet, but um, it certainly should be something we could be looking at very, very soon. So we're going to get the extract here. I could crawl again, but we're almost there, right? I mean, does it really make sense to crawl at this point? I feel like it doesn't. <laughs> so we're just going to walk slowly like the big loaded heifer we are. Boy, oh boy, we should be chomping on that grass right there because we are literally fat like a cow with all these guns. Let's give the man some money and get ready for extract. Um, man, happy to have that quest done. Happy to have you all here, whether you're on stream or watching the video. Um, hopefully it won't take us uh, too, too long to get out of here. But we definitely have more time for... Another raid in this episode, so if you're watching the episode, hang tight. There's going to be another raid coming if you're in the stream. Hang tight. There's going to be plenty more raids coming. We're just getting started here this evening, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, I'm planning on being here for a while, and we're focusing on PvE. So if you wanted to see some of that content that you can be expecting, stay tuned because we got plenty more where this came from. Let's take a look at what we got um, out of that. Actually, I could be packing this and saving ourselves some time, though. If the quest is done, realistically, I may just sell these to, to make some extra room. Uh, we can buy them, I believe, from Mechanic, uh, is this version. There's the RPD and the RPD-N, and the N is the one you need for this quest line. But um, in the interest of space, we we may just offload one of these. I'm not sure. I haven't quite decided yet, so... Let's get back to the hideout, talk to our boy proper, and let him know that we deuced the 20 people he wanted dead. Man, these guys, these traders, I don't know, you know, they they just don't strike me as the nicest people, you know. You meet them, they're all like, hey, here, buy my stuff. And by the way, do you want to kill people, and I'll give you more stuff, right? I mean, it's kind of like if you encountered that in real life. I, f I feel like you'd ask more questions. Nine PMC kills. When all we needed was six, you can't ask for more than that out of a raid. So let's get loaded out. We'll sell stuff really quickly. That gazelle, more than likely, we're going to be taking the plates out because you can't sell them on flea with the plates, but we don't need it. 
Um, but those sell really well on Flea because there are quests that require you to stash them. And so people buy them for that. Not only that, but they're actually pretty decent armor if you've never used one. Even with the new armor update, they're still pretty solid. Hope everyone's having a good day or evening or morning or, you know, whatever it is when you're watching this. Um, we certainly are. We had a, a baller run on our scavs earlier. We uh, were streaming, um, and the, the, the theme tonight, if you're watching this video later, uh, was the uh, the scav theme. We were starting on our scav, and we were going to stay on our scav until we found the iron key at streets and showed everyone how we made so, so much money. Well, we found the key about the fourth, fifth scav infill in, and we got a marked room key out of it. So one key pop, we made about 19 million. So uh, be on the lookout for that video if you haven't seen it, if you're looking for some ways to get yourself some cash. Um, really, it's just to answer that question. Hey, you know, Con, how did you make so much money? And we have a lot less than you saw in the last episode. I guess I should address that. You haven't seen this yet if you're watching the episode. If you're in the stream, you have potentially. But we've been slowly buying as many big, thick cases as we can get in an effort to upgrade out of these white things. So we got a few more of those to get, so we're spending a bunch of money tonight in addition to running some of the missions, but we'll worry about that later. Let's talk to Proper and see what he's got for us for completing this murderous affair. We have 40,000 experience, a half a million. <laughs> I, I think I remember that, and the AVT. Okay, cool. So we'll take that, um, and there is another mission behind it. What is this? Test drive five. Is that factory? I would love to run some factories. What is this? Got a new one, albeit imported. Lightweight, easy to handle. Dude, is this an Uzi quest? Hold on, wait a second. Hold on. What are you setting us up for here? <gasps> we have a quest to use the Uzi Pro in factory? Are you kidding me? Yeah, all right. So, Uzi Pro with blah, okay, so he's going to give us the gun. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use our Uzi Pro preset, but, yo, if things are about to pick up. If you're watching the stream, hang tight. If you're watching the video, hang tight. We're absolutely going to focus. Whoa, any target, 50 on factory, I am so, so down for that. Yep, that's where we're spending our evening, guys. Um, get ready for some some love from Tagillo because things are about to pick up. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Can you tell? Let's get rid of some of this money though because it's actually getting in the way. Um, yeah, so just a virtue. <laughs> if you, this is not a floss, by the way. It's just uh, the ridiculousness with which I operate. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna, you know, I don't want to move these because it doesn't change the way that they pull. It's weird the way that money works in Tarkov when you have all these cases, but we're gonna make some room real quick so that we don't have to worry about overflowing um, that and we can just dump it in as we go. Let's get these plates out of here real quick uh, because reasons. And then let's check our price here on the auction because this was probably the big winner uh, for what we got out of that last raid. Let's check it out. They are, ooh, that is juicy, outstanding, especially with all the money that we've spent on these cases. Speaking of which, let's take a look. Um, last time you guys saw me, we were at 530 million. We have spent a ton of that uh, in getting these cases, but our overall was over 700,000, so it actually did drop our overall value quite a bit, so we'll need some more cash flow, but you know, it's going to be okay. Actually, while we're there... Let's take a look at our overall PMC num number 16. I want to push this up. And it is moving up. And we're about to go to factory with an Uzi Pro. So that's actually going to get better. Um, it's nice to be at this point um, in the wipe where I'm not having to do like the bolty stuff. And we can actually run good gear and see how well we're actually going to do. So I'm interested to see where that number goes. All right. Let's take this Uzi Pro that we need to use. And uh, was there a part of the quest that specified the mag? Now, that would be the one thing that could trip us up. Let's take a look at that real quick. Test drive 5. I'm so down for this right now. Uzi Pro, 24mm barrel, SBR stock, and a Boss XE 
uh, reflex sight. So it doesn't specify the mag because it seems that the one he gave us has a 32 rounder. That's what we use actually. Hold on. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, we're going to be okay here. Um, so just to make sure this is the exact same. Yeah, we're solid. We are solid with this gun. But before we do anything, um, so that we can save time later, what I would recommend when you get these specific gun quests is right click, edit preset, and save it. And so in this case, we're going to enter the build name as test drive, right? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Test drive five, right? So that way I know um, when I'm trying to rebuild this weapon that I'm not building it over our uh, sweetness preset because we want to make sure we keep that too. But they're two different versions of the same gun, and I am super excited about the chance to use an Uzi Pro today. I did not think I'd have such sweetness in my hands tonight, but here we are, and we get to go to factory with it. Are you kidding me? Man, it's game on. It is game on. Let's get rid of this, honestly. RPDN's fun. Um, sorry, guys, but yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to, you know, do the whole vendor -er thing. <laughs> Tommy, I did tell you I am a vendor -er. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of that deed. Um, I'm not really interested in these. Honestly, we have so many headsets and glasses and plates. And yeah, we are vendor -er ring just to make room and then we're going to keep things moving here yeah let's just all this you can have all of that all right cool we have a ton of what let's see why, why didn't i sell this stuff uh let's get rid of this we don't need to take all of this uh, but we will take a few extra heals just in case not going to worry about selling the rest of that stuff test drive five you're right there right so yeah, let's uh, get you in our hands. Go ahead and ensure this. Um, because reasons. And let's get some glasses on because I don't know why we don't have any. I'm excited we're going into factory, dude. That's great. Okay, we we can't repair those. Oh, I wasn't trying to repair. Insure. Duh. Get rid of the pistol because we don't need it. And yeah, Uzi Pro Time. Let's go. If only Shui were here. <laughs> Uh, shwee, we're about to use a different Uzi Pro, my guy. Um, man, I love this weapon. So interesting to see what kind of uh, what kind of build they set us up with here. Um, either way, every time I've grabbed any version of this gun, I've always felt really, really good with it. Um, in terms of just how well it performs. Uh, so it should be good time we have to kill 50 targets on factory so it's certainly going to run us into the next episode if you're watching from home but hang tight we're about to get this one started and um yeah it should be a lot of fun i know that we've got at least another magazine for these somewhere but rather than look through everything let's just get ourselves one because they're not that expensive and uh we have money so yeah we'll get some some ammo in that guy and we'll get loaded into factory before we go to factory is there I don't think there's any quests we need there however as I mentioned uh, this is the lightkeeper series right the road to lighthouse let's take a look because there is a quest that we can try to get some work in on while we're there and it is the quest for lightkeeper for sure so let's take a look real quick overseas trust as you can see 15 rishalas 15 glue cars 15 killers 15 <laughs> you see the the thing and there's your boy tagila down at the bottom so there's a chance that we might get some progress towards this in this raid but this is absolutely one that long term um we're going to be doing and I'm going to share as much of it as, as you guys are willing to watch. So be on the lookout for that. We're ready to load into factory. If you're on the stream, thank you for hanging out. If you're watching this at home, thank you for watching this. Thank you for clicking it. Thank you for subbing. Thank you for all of it. Let's get into factory and shoot some people. I believe we have everything we need. If not, we're going to have to figure it out because it's too late now. Let's go, right? I'm anxious to use this gun. I've been running LMG and Boltees and... If you watch the PvP series, I have intentionally 
been skulking around in grubby kits and trying to spend the least amount of money possible on all of the gear um, so that we could spend all of our money on our hideout and our Bitcoin. And currently we're 8 out of 10 um, and really just a, a position to smash for the rest of that. So from here on in on PvP, unless we're working weapon-specific quests, we're actually going to be gearing up uh, because we're going to have some money because as I'm talking to you right now, we're making Bitcoin on PvP and that is outstanding. Let's get into factory and have some fun, shall we? little bit of a drink there to start us off. One thing we need to add to this build actually, now that we're in factory I'm having this thought, a flashlight, right? Like I said, I forget stuff. Let's use a new gun and make sure that uh, we don't check to see if we can see with it, right? I mean, why would you need to see with a gun? So our goal here is 50 targets. So we are not really here to loot or, I mean we will obviously, but that's that's not the the plan, man. The plan is fights, devastation, gunfights. Maybe we die. Maybe Tagila pushes. I don't know, but we're gonna be killing some stuff. So we're not going to be doing any quick out raids. We are going to be in it for the long haul. We'll open our extract, and then we're gonna just branch on out into factory, guys, and see who wants to say hello, right? I mean, because somebody's here who wants to say hello, yeah? Surely we got some PMCs or some, you know, jerk boss that wants to rush at us and make sure we use all our ammo in a fit of fear because he's so freaking scary. <laughs> Tagila, man, I've never had a fight with him that I just felt like, oh, I'm going to murder this guy. Like, I still, um, there's something about that boss, man, even though I've killed him a bunch of times at this point. He's just gnarly and I love fighting him. So we'll see if we get some killer action here tonight. Tagilla, excuse me. We're also gonna be farming killer too at some point because I want his outfit. You know, it's a it's a personal thing. I do want to do that. Um I don't know about doing that one on PvP. I don't know that we're at that skill level and or time level yet if this ever becomes any kind of full time thing. Certainly it's something I would love to do, but as it stands right now, I don't have time for that. Why are we looting? Stop. Stop it. I've got to stop myself. You guys, if you're in the chat, tell me. If you see me looting something, tell me to stop. We just need to rush. Fights. Is that light from... That's light from there. Where is everybody? Hello there. Um, hello. That's a... Uh, do we have a dead factory raid when we need to kill 50 things? Oh, shit. There's a guy. This is why we need lights. He's got a shotgun. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so, you know, this is why we need a flashlight. You know, this is why we need a flashlight. And I should have thought about that, but... <laughs> oh, this gun is murderous. It's a lot bouncier than the version we're used to, and I certainly prefer the version we're used to, but... I feel like that'll do just fine. That guy got absolutely murdered. One out of 50, well on our way. That gunfire would have attracted someone, so. You can hear him. Oh, you're down there. You scabby little... Seriously, guys. Look, the AI. They're getting better. You know, they're getting better, I'm telling you. It's awesome to see, but um, going to be scary for newer players, honestly. But at least the better they make them, the less of this uh, one version versus the other stuff, hopefully long term, right? I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that guy was clearly like, nope, I'm peeking you from here. Didn't work out for him, though. So two out of 50. And we're going to repack before we see anyone else. The only thing about the Uzis that I've noticed is just because of the, the fast rate of fire. Um, you're, you're, you're spending so much ammo it just burns the dura of the gun up so so fast so um, you know if you're planning on using them just something to consider you're going to need to repair and or replace them um, as needed but a lot of the guns you can just buy another receiver without having to buy the whole uh, gun and uh, get it right back to 100% condition um, so this guy's down his friend's down I will check to see 
they've got something at least in pockets because labs cards marked keys scavs can have very valuable things sometimes so plus we still need to level our search skill uh, even though we're pushing kills I still I just like looting bodies I don't know what it is they're my favorite container to loot even though oftentimes they're the least profitable believe it or not okay so we got someone going over there um, sit downstairs Check this guy. Why I took the saga, I have no clue. I don't want this. Take it back. Really? Tell me how you really feel. Is that why you're running? Because I'm pathetic? <laughs> you know, like, uh, what you're saying isn't matching up with what I'm seeing, bro. Well, come on, G.I. Joe. Let's go. What you got? Alright, listen. We gotta, uh teach this guy a lesson. He's over there talking junk while he's running away. So let's grab this safe real quick and then we're gonna hunt our boy down. I believe I know a route we can take to sneak around those jokers. That's all you got in the safe for us, man? Just a horse? Don't nobody need a horse anymore, man. That's like yesterday's loot. That's like early wipe stuff, right? All right, let's uh, these guys probably ran over this away. Head through here. I do have a full clip, yeah. Double up. Thank you. Okay, there we go. I got a double tap on that, but it's an awkward push um, because it's the last thing I typically need, especially with PVP now. I've got VoIP on. My, I have four programmable buttons on the mouse that I use, but. Um, I find that oftentimes even that's not enough, man. I would love to have more, but there's just not a lot of good mouses out there that have more buttons that I've seen that are also, I prefer a smaller one um, rather than the big heavy ones. I tried one recently, bought one actually, a really good one, but it just, for me, um, I'm really picky about things like that. Like even when I was on controller, it was like it had to be the first party stuff. I wouldn't <laughs> use third party, you know, I'm a bit of a snob I guess when it comes to my gaming experience but that's what makes such good content especially for Tarkov because look at what we get to see as a result of my ridiculousness this map is absolutely gorgeous man Ooh. where are you at I should shut my mouth and shoot things <laughs> like, let's go find something to shoot I'm trying man I just oh are y'all over here probably yeah okay did they sometimes they'll like bunch up on this extract man you gotta watch these guys see they're ready and dead there's one you got any friends with you anyone oh shit there's a hole there we almost jumped down a hole that would be probably an example of what you don't want to do right um, so how did you die in that last raid exactly well you see I decided to jump to my death. Kill a... A... Alright. So, take a second and repack. We're just going to listen. I'm not in any rush. Because um, 50 targets is 50 targets. It can be scabs. It can be PMCs. It can be whatever. So, literally, we're going to get these Uzi pros. We're going to load up with ammunition. And we're going to stay in factory as long as we can. And kill as much as we can. Until we get this quest done. Should be a lot of fun. I really do enjoy factory raids. Um, I think everyone does, man. This map just has a, a special place in any Tarkov player's heart, I believe. Um, even though, uh, boy, when I first started playing Tarkov, I'll be honest, man. Factory PvP runs were just, um, man, nerve-wracking to me because you knew when you came to factory, there is no chance you're not running into someone. Typically, you're going to have... A PvP engagement, and when you're learning the game, you just get deuced so often, man. And even now, we get deuced. You know, it is what it is, man. It's Tarkov. It's a long time to learn this game, but once you do, even then, it still takes an even longer time to master, so. Um, that's really kind of the journey I'm on, is like, I just, I'm at the point now where I know the maps enough that I can just settle in and focus on 
trying to get better with my peaks, trying to get better with my angles, with my inertia, with my decision making, with when do you push, when do you pull. Um, but what PVE is allowed is uh, is really that kind of focus on the gunplay so that when I am in PvP and that moment strikes and I need to react, it's just like that, right? It's just a reaction, it's natural, it's not something forced, and you can really bring the best version of yourself into a fight that way. And if I could give any advice about Tarkov is you really need to bring the best version of yourself into these engagements because when you don't, if you're distracted or if you're, you know, <laughs> one too many beers or whatever, dude, this game gets incredibly harder if you're playing against other human opponents who are paying attention <laughs> and who are bringing the best version of themselves. So uh, I think that's what keeps me coming back for that PvP stuff. You know, I just want to challenge myself. Even though the fact that I'm doing it, you know, live on the stream and like solo for the most part, like as a guy with a year in the game and putting it out in front of the world is kind of nerve wracking to be honest, but it's fueling me to just get better and better and better. So if you're watching those PvP episodes thinking, man, this guy's got a lot to learn, you're right, we do. But I am committed to do that, and uh, I just love this game. So should be a lot of fun content while we're on our journey. And uh, my thought is, and my assumption is, and I truly believe that a lot of you who have joined us here are potentially on the same journey. And I hope that we can all help each other um, really get into this game that we love so much and do the best we can with it. So... We are running out of things to shoot at, so at this point, eight minutes in, we're going to head over towards this extract here, and um, it might be time to consider a reset just by virtue of the fact we don't have a lot of targets here, and I'm not hearing a lot of activity, so in the interest of time, we're going to head to the extract and reset this thing. If you're watching the video, this will probably be the last raid. If you're on stream, hang tight. We are not done by a long shot. That worked very well in our favor. Let's take a look at the kills we got when we load out and then we'll take it from there. Alright, so I feel like we got, I don't know, maybe four or five in there. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot at all. Uh, but that happens, you know, it's just like live, like you never know how many things you're gonna have. Yeah, it was five and all scabs. Okay, whatever. Awesome. We'll do a quick depot, and if you're on stream, hang tight. If you're watching the video, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so, so much for joining us. It's your boy, Conor4, with Faustness Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.